Hello guys and welcome back again to the channel. On today's video, we'll be looking at Smart EQ3 by Sonable. This plugin, obviously, apart from the fact that it's AI driven, has actually got a lot of utility stuff under the hood. You can use it as a normal EQ as you would with your everyday EQ, but that's not why I want to do this plugin review. I actually want us to touch up on the real-time dynamic movement that this plugin adds. But before then, let's just listen to how I've used it on this vocal and then we can see what I've done and how I did it. So let's get into the video. So first, let's have a listen to the EQ, how I've mixed it on this particular mix, and I'll show you guys how a little bit of enhancement from this plugin can actually go a long way. So let's listen to the vocal, the way it's been mixed. You're not in my reality, and maybe it's not good for me, so I close my eyes, I take a breath, and imagine it's just you and me, I pinch myself away. So as you can see, the vocal sounds alright, there's nothing uh, disturbing it from this mix. But let's see how we can now enhance it with this plugin. Remember, we're only dealing with the lead vocal at the minute. So what I'll do is, I'll come here and go to the factory profiles. I'll go and select vocal high. You can obviously use the low one, but I'm using the high for this particular demo. Now let's listen let this analyze the vocal and then give us a profile. You're not in my reality And maybe it's not good for me So I close my eyes I take a breath as you can see, this is the profile generated by this, but we don't actually need this profile at all. So I can bring down the uh, strength and then get rid of the low end completely. I'm only focusing on that high, you know, just so that any harshness that there is, we can uh, treat it. Now I'll go ahead and bring that dynamic all the way. You're not in my reality, and maybe it's not good. So if I take it back to where it was, which is zero, you see there's no movement whatsoever. You're not in my reality. And maybe it's not good for me. But not only does it make the vocals sound a bit, you know, flat, but with this dynamic movement is also obviously suppressing resonances and also helping the vocal to actually move and breed. Now let's bring it back up. You're not in my As you can see, this sounds a bit uh, subtle, but it actually helps because with this now, you can actually bring the vocal a bit more in the mix without it sounding harsh because it's uh, in real time suppressing any resonance that there will be. So let's bring that up a bit more. You're not in my reality And maybe it's not good for me So I close my eyes I take a breath And imagine it's just you and me I pinch myself away And I go crazy Live another moment Without my baby I dream away the loneliness I'll fake it It's the only way I make it You notice there's less harshness to the vocal, rather there's more movement to it. And obviously you can decide on what strength you want, as you can see. But I normally like to go for about 30 to 40% on this one. I've left it at 35. 
then the width you can decide how wide you want it so somewhere here which is where the vocal is more prominent and a bit more harsh is where we can use this too and then if you want to obviously still use this as your normal eq you can still go ahead and input the nose and do whatever you want to do but i prefer just using this to sort of get rid of harshness on vocals then on scenes like clap is also useful because of how piercing or snare so you can always use this on on things like ah so i hope this is helpful guys don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel also go ahead and check out this plugin for your own workflow and let me know what you think about it see you guys on the next video bye now